Hello, Acts is so interesting. I'm going to read a second section today. Acts sketchbook. So much is going on. Paul is arrested. 40 people, Jewish people, want to kill him. I think men. I'm sure men. Uh, he gets sent to Herod's, Herod's palace. and uh, But thankfully, they let... Paul is arrested, but they let um, his friends meet his needs. So that's a blessing. Paul, here are some things for you. Thank you. So Felix and his Jewish wife, Drusilla, visit. And Paul talks about self-control, righteousness, judgment, faith in Jesus. And Felix says, okay, stop. That's enough. And they talk. Felix sends for him. Quite a, frequently, quite a few times. Here I am, let's talk. But there's no bribe, no money for Felix. And for two years, Felix kept Paul in prison. Uh, he wanted to do a favor for the Jews. The Jews don't like, some Jews don't like Paul. It's almost like Jesus going from group to group, trial to trial. Felix left Paul in prison for seven years, uh, two years. That's not good. Three days after, Acts 25, three days after arriving in the province, Festive went up from Caesarea to Jerusalem, where the chief priests and the Jewish leaders appeared before him and presented the charges against Paul. So Festus goes up from Caesarea to Jerusalem, presents the charges to the chief priests, and the Jewish leaders against Paul. So what what is the problem with Paul? What are the arguments? They requested Festus as a favor to them to have Paul transferred to Jerusalem for they were preparing an ambush to kill him along the way. They requested Festus as a favor to them to have Paul transferred to Jerusalem. To send him to Jerusalem, he's sent all over the place, for they were preparing an ambush, an attack, to kill him. Please have Paul transferred to Jerusalem. I wonder if Festus know, knew. Paul goes to Jerusalem, and an ambush is ready to kill Paul. Surprise attack. Acts 25.4. Festus answered, Paul is being held at Caesarea, and I myself am going there soon. Let some of your leaders come with me, and if the man has done anything wrong, they can press charges against him there. Charges being pressed. If he has done anything wrong, they can press charges in Caesarea. Some of you should go with me to Caesarea. So I guess he's not going to Jericho. Jerusalem. Sorry. So Paul is spared, not going to Jerusalem. Uh, after spending eight or ten days with them, Festus went the next went down to Caesarea. So eight to ten days, Festus went down to Caesarea. The next day, he convened the court and ordered that Paul be brought before him. When Paul bring him Paul, Festus says, when Paul was brought in, the Jews who had come down from Jerusalem stood around him. They brought many serious charges against him, but they couldn't prove them. Just like Jesus. Complain, complain, complain against Paul, but they had no proof. Charges were unproven. Then Paul made his defense. I have done nothing wrong. I have done nothing against the Jewish law or against the temple or against Caesar. I have done no wrong against the Jewish law, against the temple, against Caesar. There he is with his robe, the leader. I have done nothing against the Jewish law or against or against the temple or against Caesar. Festus, wishing to do the Jews a favor, said to Paul, Are you willing to go up to Jerusalem to stand trial before me there on these charges? I appeal to Caesar. I, I appeal to Rome. After Festus had confirmed, talked with his council, he declared, you have appealed, called to Caesar, to Caesar you shall go. Festus and council confer. So they all talk with each other. Okay, you'll go to Caesar, and I think 
That means he's going to Rome. Acts 25, 13. A few days later, one, two, three, King Agrippa and Ber Bernice, or Bernice arrived at Caesarea to pay their respects to Festus. Since they were spending many days there, Festus discussed Paul's case with the king. Then Agrippa said to Festus, I would like to hear this man myself. So King Agrippa and Bernice, or Bernice are visiting Festus. And they discussed, Festus discussed Paul's case with them. Tomorrow you will hear him, he replied. So I googled king and queen and drew little sketches of them. I think that might be King, king James, I'm not sure. The next day, Agrippa and Bernice came with great pomp and ceremony dun, 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 and entered the audience room with the high-ranking military officers and the prominent men of the city. So they entered the room with the very important people. At the command of Festus, Paul was brought, brought in. So here come great, King Agrippa and Bernice with great pomp and circumstance. Ceremony. Dun, 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 dun. So all these high-ranking military officers and important men of the city, prominent men of the city, will come to see Paul. Bring in Paul. So Paul is going to give a good witness, I think. Acts 26, 1. Then Agrippa said to Paul, You have permission to speak for yourself. Paul gives his defense. King Agrippa allows him to speak. So Paul motioned with his hand and made his defense. I consider myself fortunate to stand before you today as I make my defense against all the accusations of the Jews and especially so because you are well acquainted with all the Jewish custom, customs and controversies. Therefore, I beg you to listen to me patiently. So you know what's going on with the Jews. Please listen. The Messiah would suffer and as the first to rise from the dead would bring the message of light to his own people, to the Gentiles. And King Agrippa is moved. He says, you almost persuade me to be a Christian. I would to God that not only you and all who hear me today, I hope that everyone would become a Christian. At this point, Festus interrupted Paul's defense. You're out of your mind, Paul. Your great learning is driving you insane. I am not insane, most excellent friend. I'm not crazy. What I'm saying is reasonable and true, Paul replied. So he's giving a good testimony. The king is familiar with these things, and I can speak freely to him. I am convinced that none of this has escaped his notice, because it was not done in a corner. King Agrippa, do you believe in the prophets? I know you do. On the side I have. These things were not done in a corner. They were not hidden. None of this is hidden. None of this has escaped King Agrippa's uh, attention, his notice. King Agrippa, do you believe in the prophets? I know you do. And Agrippa said to Paul, Do you think that in such a short time you can persuade me to be a Christian? Pers in such a short time you can persuade me to be a Christian? short time or long I pray to God that not only you but all who are listening to me today may become what I am except for these chains Paul replied so long short time or long time I pray that you and everybody listening be like Paul except for these chains so I hope that you become a Christian except for being in chains or in jail so should we finish this out? The king rose and with him the governor and Bernice, Bernice and those sitting with them. After they left the room, they began saying to one another, This man is not doing anything that deserves death or imprisonment. They left the room and said, Paul does, has done nothing that deserves death or imprisonment. He's innocent. So the king arose, the governor arose, Bernice arose, those sitting with them. All arose and talked about it. Agrippa said to Festus, This man could have been sent free if he had not appealed to Caesar. So he called to Caesar, and to Caesar he must go. So Paul would be free 
except that he's called to Caesar. So he's going to go visit Italy. Okay, thanks for reading this with me. Talk to you later.